Being able to communicate or even answer a simple yes or no question is something most of us take for granted. But for people like the young man you're about to meet, Ethan, the words won't come. Now, thanks to a buddy with a knack for computer programming, he's getting his voice back. Local 12 Sydney Benter shows us how. That should be good. Lots of 13-year-old boys rush home from school to go outside and play ball. Yeah. Not Jacob Smilg. <sighs> so off again. He's into programming and coding. His projects are usually for fun. That all changed when he realized his skills might be able to help family friend Ethan Kadish. Ethan suffered a brain injury when he was struck by lightning in 2013. So I do different exercises with him. When you know, they're not at school, they're in PT, they're in OT, they're in speech therapy, they're doing holistic therapies, anything and everything to have Ethan come back. And something's working. In the blink of an eye came a glimmer of hope. In October, Ethan started answering questions. Is your name Ethan? Very good. A small movement, but a major breakthrough for the family. And it gave Jacob an idea. He repurposed a school project and rigged it so that Ethan could communicate in a whole new way. The display would change from the Y and the N that's currently on the screen to a yes or a no, depending on which button you, that he would press. Surrounded by friends and family on Thanksgiving, Ethan gave them one more thing to be thankful for. Do you like the Cincinnati Reds, Ethan? Left for yes, right for no. Do you like the Reds? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the most Ethan has been able to communicate with his family since the accident. All thanks to a bright friend with a big heart. In Sims Township, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. I think we're going to hear more from both those boys in the near future. It cost the Kadish family $100,000 a year to care for Ethan. There's a benefit coming up for his medical expense fund, and we have details on that at local12.com.